I sent my shadow far and wide across the land. Your shadow? Yes, my shadow. And how do we know you're not just a shadow? I am Rikimaru. I am a shadow. I miss Tenchu. Well, the Tenchu's on PS1, PS2, and Xbox 360. There hasn't been a game to come out since Tenchu Z that scratched that ninja stealth assassin itch that I've been having for some time. Who would have thought that my relief would be found on PC, and Linux no less? I sure didn't, but I'm happy to say that Aragami delivers, and it delivers very well. Barcelona dev studio Linsworks clearly put a lot of passion and care into the mechanics of their love letter to the stealth assassin genre. The colorful yet shadowed world of Aragami draws you directly into the role of the undead supernatural ninja to the point that you feel like it's you rocking that dope journey influenced scarf of magic. The sound design is also well implemented and beautifully paired alongside the music produced by Twin Feathers. The Asian inspired soft themes are very calming when you're in the midst of concentrating on surveying an area for enemy Kaiho warriors. If an enemy catches you slipping, however, he'll pull out a large horn that echoes throughout the map, triggering other enemies in the area to be on high alert. This horn is the perfect precursor to the epic panic music that follows. It's definitely reminiscent of triggering the alert timer in the Metal Gear Solid series. It always gets my blood pumping. I won't go too into detail on the game as it's not so much a review that I'm putting together, but a notification that this game plays really well on Linux even for a Unity title. I know people have a lot of gripes with the Unity engine, but I've found that many games play really well on it. Aragami's one of them. I've got an NVIDIA GTX 970 and an Intel Core i5-4460 CPU at 3.2GHz. 8 gigs of RAM, and I run all my Steam games from an external USB 3.0 hard drive using Zubuntu 16.04.1. Sometimes in game I get some minor stuttering which you can see during the gameplay footage on screen, but it's nothing game breaking. In the beginning of the game I had all the graphics settings set to max, but I maintain a pretty steady 60 frames per second. Around chapter 4 or 5 however the game got a little laggy so I turned off bloom, moon shafts, and other graphically intensive settings to maintain a steady frame rate. To be honest, even with all those settings off and the details still set to max, the game looks beautiful. It shares the timeless cell shaded look with one of my favorite games of all time, The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker on the Nintendo GameCube. And that's a game that still looks beautiful today. Like seriously, go look it up. I actually prefer the non-bloom glowy effects over the max settings just because it reminds me of games that I loved playing as a kid, like Jet Set Radio and Wind Waker. Graphics are entirely subjective, so I'll leave it at I personally think it looks beautiful on max without all the special effects. Your mileage may vary. Now is the game fun to me? <laughs> you damn right it is. It's everything I've been missing in the past 10 years from the stealth genre. You've got your ninjas your supernatural beings, your dim-witted AI guards, and some light puzzles to solve. There are some unlockable skills and magic abilities you can get from exploration too. I don't really want to reveal what you should be looking for because that would ruin a portion of the game. I know other videos provide you guys with the nitty gritty details, but I like keeping games ambiguous so that viewers can check them out for themselves and formulate their own opinion. Look, I was a huge Tenchu fan as a kid and because of that I'm probably biased. I didn't own a PS1, but I'd frequently go over to my neighbor's house all the time and watch him and my older brother play Tenchu 1 and Tenchu 2 on his PS1. Some years later, I begged my dad to buy me Tenchu 3 Wrath of Heaven and a PS2 for my 13th birthday since it just came out that month. And man, I put hours into that game to the point that I got Grandmaster on every map and all three characters plus the unlockable portal mission with the real Ricky Maru. When my brother got me an Xbox 360, I bought Tenchu Z and played that for several hours with my friends online, probably every day, <laughs> and that was way back in 2007. It's been nearly a decade and the Tenchus that came out between that time were subpar at best, but maybe I'm just a nostalgic hipster pixel loving gamer, who knows. The point is, all the reviews you find on the web about games are entirely subjective. They can be helpful, 
but I honestly think you should go and try games out for yourselves. Some of my favorite games of all time had very poor or average reviews by critics and other gamers. Check out Nier on the PS3 and Xbox 360 if you ever get the chance. That game is friggin' phenomenal in my opinion. But, you know, reviewers and critics had differing opinions. Origami is easily up there in one of my favorite games ever. Period. It took me back to 2003 with improved graphics, a better camera, and awesome mechanics. I look forward to whatever else Lensworks and Twin Feathers has in store for the future, and I hope they continue publishing games with native Linux support. I honestly believe Origami is well worth the $19.99 price of admission if you're into the stealth assassin genre or if you're looking to jump into the genre with a modern twist. If you like me, picked it up on Linux, and you enjoyed it, let the devs and other devs know that you'd like to see more games developed for Linux. There are so many games coming to the platform now that I think it can only continue to grow if we continue to support it as a community and as a whole. If you're a fan of Ninja Stealth games or have any recommendations I should check out, drop some names in the comments below. And remember, no matter what distro you use, out of many, one Linux. Peace. Now I can just go ahead. I messed up a lot. It was so hard. <laughs> it's like what I, uh. I hope it sounds good when I edit it. Like that's one of the things I'll worry about.